Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I want to show you a modified Saunders Hawk. The Saunders Hawk is a pretty good slingshot. Um, I reviewed it in another video. You can check it out if you want. Um, main advantages is that it has um, band holders that allow very very quick band change. And um, But you know it originally comes with this flimsy tiny little handle that I replaced with a handmade one. This one for multiplex and really made for my fingers. So it's a perfect ergo shooter. Really nice. I also lowered the fork because the original fork is too high for my taste, which means that you have increased strain on the wrist. So if you attach heavier bands like I did, um, then um, it can become kind of hard to control. So this is a completely customized Saunders Hawk now. And um, let's shoot it and compare it with the original bands. So we we'll test it with a 15 mm steel ball first. So that was 56 meters 85. So now we're shooting 16 mm lead, which weighs more than twice as much as the 50 mm steel. 43, 45. So these are the original Saunders bands with a very interesting plastic pouch that I like. Forty-eight twelve. Now the original bands and 16 millimeter lead. 37.95. So as you see there's a big difference in power and um, the bands that I put on to re replace these are pretty much the toughest that you can attach to this kind of uh, band holder. Uh, you can modify it and attach even heavier ones. I, and I have slingshots that are a lot heavier and stronger of course, but this is a great modification for the very inexpensive Saunders, which is really only $16. Um, by the way, the kind of interesting color is from tinting. So I just, before I added the um, boat paint here, the clear paint um, from Poli, um, what I did is I dyed this with a blue ink. Very interesting. I've done some other frames with that kind of technique too. So this for example is a frame that I dyed in red. You can still see the original wood structure. And this by the way was a fork that was really ugly and I sawed it apart and inserted um, steel rods to stabilize it and glued it back together in the angle that I wanted. So I called it the Pygmalion, because I kind of uh, trained it to be a good slingshot. So, of course, the ubiquitous coconut test. Can this slingshot, which is really not the strongest, crack the coconut? Let's test it. Okay, it cracked it, but it didn't penetrate. Still, that would have been a painful hit if that would, be, would have been head, I think. But now let's test it with a real strong slingshot with the three layers of very wide theraband gold, my little antler frame here, because we have one more coconut to destroy. Look how the coconut flattened the lead ball. So this doesn't have the draw and also it doesn't have the brutal force of one of my real strong frames but I think it's a wonderful modification and it's pretty, it's very unusual and it's one of a kind. Well that was it for today. Hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye.